Having looked at some of the basic tools uh, of uh, showing your status in the, my previous uh, demo, let's look at what other things that the trainer may expect from you uh, and therefore what are the ways and means of doing it. So what a trainer could do is um, in the session give, ask you to speak about something and for that he will enable your microphone from his end. The moment he enables the microphone from his end you would see a small icon which comes in here and you can click here to say connect my audio. Now that will enable the small dialog box to come in and all you need to do is say allow and uh, your microphone settings would have you know uh, become uh, enabled uh, and uh, now you would be able to speak. So as you are speaking uh, everybody in the session would therefore be able to hear me. So what you could do is just by in the beginning uh, just say seek a confirmation to ask people in the session am I audible? Now just by saying am I audible whoever is the host would reply back to say yes you are audible and please continue or the response could be no you the audio is uh, you know low so if you receive and yes you are audible uh, kind of a feedback then it's okay else if the, you it says uh, you know your audio is low you could uh, go ahead and adjust your volume accordingly from here and say increase or decrease accordingly and say okay and that would set your audio volume uh, so then uh, that's that's how your audio would be transmitted to everybody uh, once um, you know you have completed whatever you need to be saying the trainer could take away your audio rights but uh, the next thing he, that he could do is ask you to start presenting so suppose you have done a small uh, exercise and then he goes into a round robin uh, and picks up participants now that means he would give you the presenter rights and make you a presenter now the moment you made a presenter as you can see my name has moved to the presenter list and I start seeing this small icon share my screen so when I click here uh, and say start sharing it will ask me whether desktop application or windows so best option is to start doing desktop sharing and that would mean now everybody in the session is able to see what my desktop is showing so I could go and pick up my exercise open the exercise and start playing the exercise accordingly and uh, uh, my audio is anyway visible uh, is heard and as you keep moving with your either the website or the access or ICR or whatever session that you may have been doing it's visible to everybody and therefore the trainer could ha actually have a conversation with you and with the rest of the um, participants understanding what you are discussing so it will be like a face to face discussion which would be happening uh, this, that's how you will uh, you know, continue with your uh, session as and when the uh, presenter gives you the presenter uh, rights. Uh, therefore, when you have completed sharing, you could just click on stop sharing and uh, then the presenter could take away the rights and make you back into a participant. And therefore, as you can see, the participants uh, list, my name has started appearing now in the participants list. I could also have my audio uh, removed and uh, suddenly this icon would move away and not be visible so it will say micro microphone is disconnected all right so these are some indications from the system that will come to you uh, and this is how we will participate now these are some basic things that we will do as part of our learning session is concerned and uh, I think we'll have a good uh, session of interaction while we are still away and um, we will be able to make the most of it